Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys today? I am really excited to be here and to be sharing a new video with you all today. Um, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Maria Wick. I uh, am an entrepreneur. I own two businesses and yeah, really fun. I am deep into the spiritual community and all the things. So if you have not been with me before, that's kind of a little bit about me. But if you have been, welcome back. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because new videos are gonna be coming a regular thing. But today, we are doing my gratitude sessions. And because it has started to become really, really nice outside, we're going to be doing it outside today. Look how beautiful. The trees are starting to bud. And, oh cool breeze. I brought a little blanket. I've got a fresh pot of iced coffee that I just brewed and my two new notebooks. So I have a guided journal that I picked up at Barnes and Noble and it's like super cute. So I'm going to dive into this because sometimes guided journals are a little bit better and then I'm just going to freestyle, you know, have some fun in this also really cute journal that I picked up from Barnes and Noble. You guys, I keep cutting my head off. But look at this view. I'm dead. Anyway, so let's get started. I figured I should probably let you guys know why I I try to practice gratitude every single day. Um, and I don't always do it in the form of journaling or in like quiet reflection or in nature or whatever. There's so many different ways to do it. Um, but I do always try to do it either mentally or like physically, some way, shape or form, I try to do it. Um, and I find that on the days where I practice gratitude and the days that I step into grace and I raise my vibration to joy, I I feel more at ease, I feel more relaxed in my abundance, I feel more free in my schedule, I just feel at ease and at peace and it's it's because I'm I'm raising my vibration, right? And and so through, you know, journaling in what is this? Made out of stars by Mira Lee Patel. Um yeah, I think that's her name. Yeah, Mira. Um, like, guided meditations are so powerful, and I give them my, in my my intuitive uh, business coaching business. I give journaling um, exercises to my clients all the time, and I free journal, and I scribe, and I meditate, and I lead meditations, and I do healings, and I do all the things. But no matter how many things I'm doing. I'm gonna try to block that wind. <laughs> no matter how many things I'm doing, nothing compares to practicing gratitude and nothing compares to the way it makes me feel when the stars are aligned and when I am aligned with my desires, right? So to fill you in on what my desires are, I'm trying to block the wind from the microphone. <laughs> um, my desires start at the very beginning of myself, who I am, who I want to be, my desires for my relationship with my boyfriend, my desires with my businesses, I have two businesses, um, my desires with travels and living situations and cars and all the things, right? And so if I were to go through the list to kind of let you in on my goals, because it's not a secret, um, I want to make sure you can still see plenty. Um, my number one thing would be to live in happiness and live in joy every moment of every day, no matter what is going on around me, because the, the truth is we create our own joy, we create our own happiness, and everything that we do, every choice we make, every moment we experience, all comes down to our own perception. So the reason you're getting in a fight with your boyfriend or your mom is because you're perceiving their actions as wrong or they are perceiving your actions as wrong and 
retraining yourself, right? And so I really feel so called to start embodying this new space of freedom and happiness and all the things because I will tell you, since I have started practicing gratitude and I have started raising my vibration to joy and doing all of the things that I always preach to my clients, I number one, have made more money in my business, businesses, I have had more experiences, I have enrolled new clients, my clients are doing better, I am just feeling better all around. My dreams went from kind of like nightmares to really beautiful experiences and really beautiful guidance and I'm communicating better and all the things, right? Um, so my life, that's my goal. Live more in happiness, live more in joy. In terms of, um, let's see, business, I would love to hit, whoa, that was a weird looking bird. <laughs> I would love to hit like 300k this year, um, which is really exciting. That is my big goal. And I'm working on all of the systems and all of the things to put in place to make that transition to that next level as effortless as possible. And it's just, it's been exciting, it's been challenging, and it's been really eye-opening for me. And we're in what, April? Um, that one though. Um, what else? In my relationship, right, with my boyfriend, we've been together. His name is John. We have been together for three and a half, almost four years, and he is the love of my life and perfect for me, and I am perfect for him, and it's just a beautiful, compatible, spacious situation that, whatever, we've been gifted for this life. Um, but my goal is that by the end of the year we are living together, these birds are having so much fun, um, that we are living together and we have a puppy and we don't have to struggle when we are living together because that's my, I mean obviously if I'm making 300k we're not going to be struggling but at the same time I also know, right, in reality, which is a thing that I'm, I'm working through myself, that sometimes our goals don't come, right, and sometimes we aren't available for them. So I need to make sure that baseline, right, what I'm energetically minimally available to is enough to keep us satisfied, enough to keep us with full bellies, with adventures and happiness because no extra stress is needed, right? Because just because I'm doing all of this money work and I'm doing all of these things doesn't mean that everyone around me is, right? Um, and so I'm really excited for that and to see where we end up. I've been looking at places on the shore um, So I can finally be close to water. God, my biggest thing. Um, I'm a cancer, by the way <laughs> um, So that's life business relationship And all the things right? I don't know. I don't need to go on but I think embodying gratitude and embodying joy and embodying grace and happiness and abundance literally those desires that you have they don't seem far away they don't seem hard they don't seem scary they don't seem anything they seem like yours they seem like it, it only makes sense for them to be yours and it only makes sense for your desires to become your reality and your work to serve you and what the hell was that did you guys see that? It was like a leaf or something. And all the things. Coffee break. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's a little bit about why practicing gratitude and joy and all the things is so, 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 so important. So I want to give you a little preview into what that looks like for me. So... In order to really start to step into gratitude and into joy, you have to kind of do the dirty work first. Um, at least that's how I like to teach it because if you don't do the dirty work, you're only semi-raising your vibration and that really doesn't serve you, right? Right? You want to fully do it. So let's see. I did a good one in here because I don't have my other one with me. Um, so I love the comparisons. And this one, this book seems pretty good at that. Like, how are you taking care of yourself now versus how do you hope to be taking care of yourself in a year? And this I thought was really important. So 
I wrote for how I'm taking care of myself now. I'm gonna try to do this to block the wind. Um, I practice gratitude. I give myself love and praise and constantly educating and bettering myself so that I can show up powerfully as possible. Guys, my handwriting is really bad. <laughs> um, and then how do I hope to take care of myself for in a year from now? Now this one I got a little bit more specific because I don't know, I think it's easier to get specific about what you want to do than, rather than what you're doing now. Does that make sense? Maybe that's just the Maria thing. Um, but so I hope to truly have freedom in my schedule um, that would allow me to be more spontaneous and in flow for I'd love to just go on a weekend trip or to just go down to the shore, um, but I still feel confined um, and I am still not sure and I stu still do not feel fully free, which is a problem that I am working through right now. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of um, a little peek into my life, my feelings. And now let's get into the fun stuff. Let's do some scribing. I might migrate inside because my hands are a little cold. Um, iced coffee was probably not the best idea for a, like a 55 degree day in the shade with the wind. Um, and the sun is still not out yet, but, um, I'm going to do some journaling, some free writing, some gratitude, some scribing, sharing the movie of my life with you. And then I might give you guys some journaling prompts. So you can watch me scribe. You can watch me journal, do all the things. Ready? Honestly, there is nothing better than a beautiful vision of what my life is going to look like in six, eight months time. Um, I do want to share it with you. So I only wrote like a page and three quarters. Well, it's like a full page. <laughs> um, but there's a lot more that I didn't actually write um, because I don't always go into like in-depth detail, but I covered the main subjects. So this was my scribing. And then I did some just general like gratitude I am affirmations. So my scribing. My life is beautiful. I wake up with, mm, with mm, the... <laughs> Guys, let's not, I can't read my writing. So, my life is beautiful. I wake up to the sound of birds singing. I roll over and see the sunrise through the window and the silhouette of Johnny sleeping next to me. I am at peace. I am in love with my life. I have had an incredible month. My business is thriving and I encourage John to take the, the day off, um, to take a day off so that we could go away for the weekend down south. As I go about my day, I am filled with happiness. I am exuding joy. I check my payment processor to find that my daily deposit of 1K are settled in. Um, the, the, mm -hmm. Oh, I've built programs and funnels on autopilot and now have reoccurring income where I am supporting others. I make sure I make coffee and sit on our ocean porch. All is well. All is going to be well. For I am in for I am fully supported and my desires are becoming my reality every day. My schedule allows me to take to make homemade meals regularly and work out with a trainer. I'm feeling good and looking good, and so it is. This is just a little bit, and of course I could have kept going, but it is getting late now. It's, I, cause it's Wednesday and I had my morning meeting, so it's probably, oh, I have a watch right here. I'll make you watch. It is after 10, it's 10.15, so. That is all for today um, and I probably will do a little meditation and really
step into this, but boy, oh boy, I really feel good. I haven't done a full set like this, a full gratitude set in a very long time. But so, your prompts. When you are journaling, what I want you to do is I want you to write about what your life is like now. I want you to then write about what you desire your life to be and compare the two, right? Get really clear on the differences. Um, this is an exercise I always give to my clients, but get clear on the differences. Once you've done that, start doing the scribing, right? Get in detail, right? How I gave the detail of, I roll over and see the sunrise through the window and the silhouette of Johnny sleeping next to me, right? It's so simple to scribe and get really, really visual, right? So that's kind of that. And I'm very excited for not only that to become my reality, but also to see what you guys have to say. So let me know in the comments what a dream day in the life for you is. I would love to know. So yeah, let's meditate. So, mm, so good. I love it. Mm. No words, no words needed. So I hope you all enjoyed my gratitude and manifesting practice. Like I said before, I don't do all of these exercises every day. I do try to do at least two of them, but sometimes they look different. So sometimes I will do just like a quick meditation. Today I did a quicker meditation. Sometimes I will do like a full like 45 minute meditation. Sometimes I will do angel cards. Sometimes I will do full journaling for like a really long time, getting really, really deep. Um, sometimes I will do, um, I actually have a sketchbook where I will draw, um, draw my desires, draw the emotions, draw whatever is coming to me. Um, but today was like the three top things that I do. So the guided journaling, I guess kind of four, the guided journaling, the straight scribing, the affirmations, and meditation. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Like I said before, I love you to the moon and back. If you ever need me, send me a comment, send me a DM. Um, is it a thing on YouTube? I don't know. You can find my email on here. I know that. Um, but follow me on Facebook. I do a lot of live content. And yeah. So, I'll see you.